Uh, Captain, are we lost? No, uh, we're on course, but just uh, the magnetic compass is a little bit off. Um, maybe, maybe you should uh, check the radios. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with it, but I'll check. That's checked. What about the vacuum? The vacuum has nothing to do with it, stupid. Now, let me just adjust this. Yeah, we're lost. Hey, Jason Shaver of M0A.com here. It's obvious the pilots in our video didn't really understand their compass errors. What exactly am I talking about? I'm talking about our acceleration and our turning errors. We have two new acronyms for you to learn today. The first one is ANDS, A-N-D-S. It stands for Accelerate North and Decelerate South. Anytime in the northern hemisphere, if you're on an easterly or a westerly heading and you accelerate your airplane, it has a tendency to dip to the north. The opposite is true when you decelerate, it has a tendency to dip to the south. Now let's look at our turning error. We have UNOS, U-N-O-S, undershoot north, overshoot south. In the northern hemisphere, turn into a northerly heading. Just using your magnetic compass, you have to undershoot that northerly heading looking at just your magnetic compass. And when you roll out, you'll end up actually being on the heading you once anticipated. Same is true for a southerly heading, but you have to overshoot a southerly heading. So you actually have to turn past it, maybe 10, 20 degrees, this depends really on the rate of turn, to roll out evenly on that southerly heading. So remember, ANDS, accelerate north, decelerate south, and UNOS, undershoot north, overshoot south for our compass errors. I'm Jason Schapper with M0A.com. Remember, a good pilot is always learning. See ya.